After our unboxing wrapped up and uploaded, we spent the whole day testing here. Everyone at the Japan office just full focus on this. Reason being, something came to light to a lot of people that they're not quite understanding. So we're going to break it down for you guys. This is not e-ink. This is e-paper. Now e-ink is the company name out of Taiwan, the company that makes all the panels for basically everything on the market. Saying e-ink is like saying jacuzzi or Kleenex rather than hot tub and tissue. It's the brand name. It's actually e-paper is the correct technology name. Now, why this is so crucially important is because this is the first time we've seen an actual viable product that is being released that is not using an e-ink panel. This panel of e-paper is not produced by e-ink and they did not sell it to these guys for their use. It is a 10.1 inch screen and the correct name for this panel is the DES New Color e-paper. Now how is it different? Well there's a couple ways. How it works is e-ink screens use their own traditional micro capsules or cups that house all the black and white particles respectively. Now this new structure is actually using a slurry display which means it's a little bit more spread out and not so isolated to the individual sectors. Now this is all going to become apparent with time when we get a little bit more information on this. And for those of you asking, no, this is not ready to go for review purposes. We talked to the company and they said that there has to be some tweaks to the software. So we can't show the review today, but we can look at the display because the display is not going to change. <laughs>
So I hope that gave you a little bit of insight as to how this differs from actual color e-ink that uses a traditional color array filter. Judge it for yourself, rewatch the video, check out the side-by-sides once again, and stay tuned in the coming week. We're going to wrap this all up and do a full review and some comparisons against some other e-ink products. For goodyreader.com, this is Peter.